cube root is 60 over cube root of 36. Now, neither one of those is perfect cubes. But I know that 36 is 6 times 6. So, what could I do there? Think about it. I could multiply this by cube root of 6 over cube root of 6. New problem here. Now I have cube root of, I'm not even going to multiply 6 times 36. I'm just going to leave that as 3 sixes. And then on the top I have cube root of 60 times 6. What happens here? That can come outside of the cube, so I get a 6. And this one, before I multiply it, I'm going to think and see if there are any perfect cubes in here. 60 is 6 times 10 times 6. Well, 6 is 2 times 3. 10 is 2 times 5. And 6 is 2 times 3. Hmm. Notice anything? Three twos. What do you think we could do with that? Two, cube root. And the directions there said use the calculator. So, get your trusty TI-83 or TI-84, and it's pretty easy. If I want to do the cube root of 450, the first thing I do, this is called uh, Duran key code, so you press the math button. So, press the math button. And then, once you press the math button, go down to number four, you can press a four. So press math button, then press four. Okay. And what you'll see is you'll see a little picture of a cube root symbol. All you have to do now is type in the number. So now I'm going to type in the number, 450, and 50, hit enter. I guess we'll put enter here. And I get 7.663094, and it goes on forever. I don't want all those numbers. Read the directions in the book. In this section it says, round to the nearest hundredth. Tenths, hundredth. Look just at that number. It's less than 5, so my answer is 7.66. If you don't round to the proper place, I'll mark it wrong. So always read the directions. Let's try one more. Okay, so number 38. You're probably going to hit the math button again. And you do. Hit the math button. Huh, there's no fourth root there. But, what you do see is x root. When you want to use the x root, you can use that for any root. So I can find a fourth root, fifth root, eleventh root, tenth root, two hundredth root, you name it. We can find it. Here's what you have to do though. Decide on what root you need, and before you hit the math key, you hit the number that you want. So I want a fourth root, then I hit the math key. So, let's clear this thing out. We're going to hit a 4, because I want a 4th root. Now I'm going to hit the math key. I'm going to go down and hit number 5. So, you're going to hit number 5. And then, what's going to happen is you'll see a picture of that, which really is, is you're telling the calculator to put a 4 there, and then hit the 900. 900. Enter. And round to hundredths, so 5.448. 5.48. So, there you go. And there's a little bit of help with page 268. Um, I'm going to do a part two to give you some help on the next end of this page also.